Hello, you beautiful cats and dolls of YouTube land. You RPG fanatics, you dungeon crawling cats and dolls. I'm going to add to your drink. And as always, gamers, thank you for tuning in. Listen, this mug talk to you about RPG games. So, let me jump right into this video. It goes without saying that I adored Battleborn. I couldn't wait for this game to come out. I really wanted to go see where Gearbox's imagination and vision would go with this MOBA style game sprinkled in with elements of Borderlands. The humor and writing of Gearbox, the humor and writing from Gearbox, from Borderlands, basically, and I just really wanted to go see where their vision would take this game and players of this game, and I was definitely on that hype train. It's sad to stay at this point. It's been at this point for a while. It's just come to my realization that this game is dead. I mean, I came to this realization last month, but even last month, it was way beyond point that this game was fucking dead. But I held so much hope and so much belief that Gearbox could turn it around, that it was going to be able to go save this game, that it was going to be able to do something to bring life back into Battleborn. But that's just not the case. I'm just coming to the same realization as everybody else has. This game is dead. It needs to be pulled off life support, buried, and just, that's just it. And it's sad that I spent, I spent a lot of money in this game. Don't get me wrong. I bought the game day one at retail price. Plus, I also bought the season pass just to go play with the characters and support the game. Because I was like, I have to support this game. I really want it to, to succeed. I really don't want this game to die on me. So I was trying to go do everything that I thought was in my best part. In my power and my best beliefs to save the game. But this game cannot maintain, uh, not maintain, but attain a, a decent player base. It can't attain a decent player base that constantly plays this game religiously day in and day out and chooses this game over other options. I mean, I was hardcore into it until like last month and I finally given up. This game is just so unplayable right now, and it's mainly due to the fact that it has a lackluster player base. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that if this game goes free to play, it'll revitalize the player base. People will want to choose it because it's actually free. I kind of disagree with that. I mean, there are so many different speculations and rumors and just beliefs of why Battleborn did bad. I believe if Battleborn came out, Right when it was, right before Overwatch, if it did a little bit of hype and just said Battleborn is a free-to-play option over Overwatch, I think at that point, it really would have got a lot of people buzzing, thinking, and just talking about the game in general as an option to play. As of right now, it's just a poor man's Overwatch, and Overwatch is still seeing a lot of success. It's still a fun game, and that's not to say Battleborn isn't. It's just, it's going to constantly live in Overwatch's saddle. And I don't know, yeah, Overwatch's shadow. And I don't know what Battleborn can actually do to drag itself away from that shadow. When you look at the problems Battleborn had, it wasn't anything that was too drastic or not par from the course. Like, there was, there were some character balancing issues. And I'll agree, fucking Galloway, Galilea right out of the box was fucking too overpowered. Definitely agree about that. Definitely agree that some characters needed to be buffed and nerfed. I definitely believe Atticus needed a definite buff, and they actually worked to fix things like that within the game. Stability issues, that's par for the course. I can't name any game that doesn't come out without any issue, especially on PC with stability. So, outside of those small things, what really could a Battleborn have done differently? I really felt that it got the MOBA aspects down. I felt that the gameplay was Excellent. I felt when the characters did work and you could go have a coherent match that it was fun and certain characters worked really great together solo and they all had their quirky strategies and ideas of how using them. It really had the imagination of Gearbox's idea of a mobile style uh, video game and it was quite fun. So what is making it free to play going to go do to actually fix this problem? Again, Unless people state that this game is going to be what they want to go choose over Overwatch, then over Overwatch or any other MOBA, then yes, it will actually fix the problem. But if it's not, then it's going to be still the same problems. Not also saying that Gearbox is right now is fighting a battle on two fronts. I hear there are different issues and different complaints for console gamers. I'm mainly talking as a PC player personally. And the problems with PC is definitely that Getting a good, decent match is hard to do. You'll be waiting almost half an hour to a full-blown hour to get into a match. 
And you'll be so overwhelmed by how it's always a team of level 100s. And it's just like a group of guys together that are always play together. And you're always on a team with so under level, so under gear players that you're just bound to fucking lose. It's never fucking fun. And I think that's a real hindrance to the game because you can't even enjoy the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can't even enjoy the game when you want to at your leisure because you're fighting uphill against so many things that stacked against you. That was just a huge problem on the PC personally for me. And I guess I really want to go wrap this up by saying that I also don't go see how comparing Battleborn to a game like Evolved makes any sense. Seeing that the problem with Evolved was, and it lost so many players just at the start of the game, was not because of the hype. Because Evolved was super hype. People were ready for this. It was supposed to be the next next thing from Left 4 Dead. And we were all excited to go see where this was going to go. And we were here. It's going to have MOBA aspects. It's going to have giant monster combat. It looked great. It looked fun. It had so many glowing reviews. And then, on day one, micro-fucking-transactions. So fucking many microtransactions. That really fucking killed that game. People were just like, fuck this game. I'm not going to play this game. They took this much out of the fucking game. Four pages full of microtransactions. That just makes me think that you took a lot of shit out of the game. Day one, you show that. All the shit you took out of the game, you want me to repay to play it. That was that game's problem. And I'm not going to lie, the microtransactions for Battleborn didn't help this game fucking at all. When it was... Just losing players on a daily fucking basis to go say, microtransactions support us. It just seemed like a last minute cash grab and it pissed off a lot of players. And I should have called them out as soon as it fucking happened. But nonetheless, I'm saying it now. That was a stupid fucking move. So honestly, I don't think that going to free to play at this point is going to go say Battleborn. I think it is actually going to go fucking die. And a lot of people are just going to feel that they wasted money on this game. God bless Gearbox for trying to still try to fix this game or seeing that they can do something and they definitely should because it's not going to leave a, it's going to leave a bitter fucking taste in a lot of players' mouths. It's going to leave a bitter taste in a lot of players' mouths just like myself just because the fact that a lot of people bought it day one full fucking price, got the season pass, and there are even players that took it a step further, for, took it a step further, sorry I'm speaking so fast, and actually bought the microtransactions for cosmetic skins, and so forth and so on. Really, this game is just dead and it's ready to be fucking buried. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Maybe you think that there is some, some way that it can save this game. Maybe you saw some aspect that I didn't where this game can be redeemed. Drop a comment in the comment section below. If you like what I had to say, hit that like button. And if you haven't, subscribe to this channel because I'd love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. Thanks for listening. Thanks for... Thanks for listening and thanks for tuning in. I'm being at the Hero Drink. As always, dishing out the good news of RPG video games and nerd shit.